This next story is hilarious to me for a number of reasons. This is from Religion News. They say the following. In an exclusive interview with Religion News Service, President Trump said in a written statement that he no longer identifies as a Presbyterian and now sees himself as a non-denominational Christian. Quote, Though I was confirmed at a Presbyterian church as a child, I now consider myself to be a non-denominational Christian. Trump, who has repeatedly identified as a Presbyterian in the past, said in a written response to RNS, saying that his parents, quote, taught me the importance of faith and prayer from a young age. Trump went on to say that Melania and I have gotten to visit some amazing churches and meet with great faith leaders from around the world. During the unprecedented COVID-19 outbreak, I tuned into several virtual church services and know that millions of Americans did the same. The revelation about Trump's religious identity appeared in an interview that was conducted in writing and covered a variety of faith topics ranging from the president's own spiritual life to his plans for the White House office tasked with engaging faith groups. So there's a few things to say about this. One part about it I actually sort of respect. The other part about it I, I despise with every fiber of my being and it's hilarious how much I don't respect it, okay? The part I respect is this is Trump going back to the same well of his base, so he sees the numbers, he knows he's down, he's like, I gotta make up for this somehow. And everything he's trying to appeal to the groups that are not typically his base is not working. So the thought process is, well then I just gotta turn out more of my base. Who's his base? Evangelical Christians. And so, this is classic Republican politics, never abandon your base ever under any circumstances. If anything, super serve your base and get, that's how you get them to support you. Whereas the Democrats do the opposite. They always run away from their base at a thousand miles an hour. They run to moderate Republicans because corporate Democrats basically are moderate Republicans. So Democrats run away from their base. Republicans run towards their base. So that's the part I, I, I respect is that like, okay, they're super serving their base. Like, wouldn't it be nice to have politicians who don't remind you every three seconds that they despise you? I think that'd be lovely because us on the left, we never get that. They let us know all the time. We don't agree with you at all. Okay. The part I... I don't respect it all, and it's hilarious what he's doing here is, this is like the most pandering BS I've ever seen in my life. As Adam Johnson said on Twitter, I'm not sure this has ever happened in the history of American politics, that somebody was pandering so hard that they converted their religion in the middle of the campaign just to get votes. Because that's what he's doing. He's like, oh, I'm doing bad, I gotta turn more people out. I got it. Let me let me uh, become a non-denominational Christian as opposed to a Presbyterian, and maybe that'll give me another two or three point bump with evangelicals that'll help me maybe win. So this is, it's so funny because Trump likes to portray himself as like, who, me? No, I'm not even a politician, bro. I'm a non-politician. I don't know what you're talking about. I tell it like it is. I'm a straight shooter. That's what I do. I never, I don't pander like these career politicians over here. And then this is the most pandering stuff I've ever seen. This is as ridiculous a pander as ever. Did Trump actually have some sort of religious conversion one day sitting in the Oval Office? Like, you know, I thought Presbyterianism was true, but now I think being a non-denominational Christian is true. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about any of that shit. It's all like, look at the polls. Oh my God, what's happening? Gotta find a way to make up for this. What if I just pander on the next level? And say, oh, yes, now I'm one of you guys. Please, I don't want to lose this election. <laughs> it's like it's like the stuff he's been doing with suburban women. Where he goes out there, he's like, suburban women, I'm your candidate. I will protect you. I will stop black people from coming into your suburbs. I mean, I mean uh, low-income housing from coming into your suburbs. I will protect the American dream. Love me, suburban women. And let me tell you something. Nobody hates Donald Trump more than suburban women. <laughs> they despise him. Um, so, but this is, this, this is just the perfect, like, this is a sign as of what's about to happen in the upcoming election. It really is. Because, you know, Trump went from, in 2016, genuinely not sounding like a traditional Republican. Because traditional Republicans run on stuff like, the deficit, oh, the deficit, and oh, we gotta reform Social Security and Medicare, hoo hoo hoo, which means cut. Trump went out there and said, I'm not. I'm not going to cut Social Security and Medicare. I'm not going to do that at all. I'm going to protect them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight the outsourcing bills that ship all your jobs overseas. I'm going to protect your job. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end these wars. 
So he sounded populist, and it was interesting. But ultimately, he was a fake populist. He governed as an establishment Republican. Well, now, he's got the brain worms from Washington, D.C. in the swamp, and people like Larry Kudlow and Republican consultants, and he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going. He doesn't have any political instincts anymore. They've been dulled repeatedly, also by steady diet of Fox News nonsense. And so now this is where he's at. This is what he's reduced to. Okay, I gotta change. I got... What if, what if I change my religion? If I change my religion, well, then I get more votes? I'll do that. I'll change my religion. Pandering motherfucker. You pandering motherfucker, you. So anyway, there it is. There it is. Donald Trump becoming the ultimate pandering politician on a level that I don't know if I've ever seen this before, ever. Nobody has pandered this hard, ever. And he's still probably going to lose.